Studio app on my on my YouTube live. Oh, here we go. So, um, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to share with you. I believe that I am live. So I'm just gonna keep on going with this. And if, um, I'm gonna try to watch the comments as we go. If, uh, if something glitches, just let me know. <laughs> I have my laptop in front of me. Um, I have my iPad up here, which is the camera that you um, are looking at me in. And then I have my phone looking down at my table, which is where I'm going to present the new in colors to you and do some color comparison with you. So welcome, welcome everyone. I'm Rachel Tessman from StampYourArtOut.com and there's a new catalog coming out. June 3rd, the new catalog debuts. I'm so excited about this. This is the cover. Let me zoom out a tad so you can see the whole thing. This is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. Look at the little um, chunk of wood here. <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, I can't open it up because we're not supposed to share the cover or the inside pages of the catalog until June 3rd hits. And I can't share with you a digital link, which is what the, st uh, the Stampin' Up! demonstrators all get to peek at right now. But just know that it's coming. It's coming soon, June 3rd. So I'm gonna to introduce to you the new in colors, okay? Hello everyone, this is so fun. You know what's awesome about the, um, the live on YouTube that is not the same on Facebook is that you guys can actually comment before I go live. This is crazy. My mom is with me. <laughs> My mom isn't on Facebook anymore, so this is kind of fun that she's joining in. Hi mom. <laughs> These are the new in colors. Aren't they beautiful? So they're almost like edible. They're so yummy. This one's a little dustier compared to the other colors, like it has more of a dusty look to it. But the the rest have, well, they kind of have a bright tone to them, uh, especially if you're seeing them in the May Paper Pumpkin ads that have been going on for a while. In fact, that kit sold out, so I'm sorry to those of you that missed out on that. But you can see the names of them here. We have Misty Moonlights. So we've got a blue color, kind of like a a jean color, um, cinnamon cider, which I think is gonna be great for doing like edible browns, um, more like uh, s'mores. I'm thinking s'mores would be great at this time of year for sure. Bumblebee is a, a nice yellow that's um, kind of on the um, warm side. Um, not, a, not, not real bright, but um, definitely like a cozy yellow, I would say. And then we have Just Jade, which is gonna be my favorite, I think, because I am into greens. Those of you that know me, I love, 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 love greens. <laughs> and then the last one is a, definitely a super bright color, a nice bright pink magenta madness. So combined together, you've got some really yummy colors, don't we? All right, so I have tons of people that have helped me out with collecting, I think, every single Stampin' Up! color. Last year I did a video similar to this on YouTube and I was, um, I was, I didn't have them all. I, I felt really bad about that because um, people were asking me about certain colors and, and so I had some, some friends of mine, some Stampin' Up! crazy, passionate Stampin' Up! friends of mine um, volunteer to send me swatches of the colors. I've got, I think, every one of them now, okay? So, sorry, I keep peeking down at my computer. The comments from my computer are super small. That's the problem is I can't, I wonder if I do this here, hang on a minute. I'm gonna see if I can load comments here. I probably won't, oh yeah, no, I can't. Okay, normally I watch them on my iPad, which is what I'm looking at. Okay, I'm gonna move on. Let's just keep going. Um, but maybe, hopefully at the end, I'll be able to go back and, and read through them. If any of you have questions that I don't get to, I will try to have like a question thing at the end so you can then um, you know ask away if I didn't address them beforehand I love this all these good mornings from across the world this is so much fun okay so let's go ahead and start with um, the first one which was on top the misty moonlight and um, we have several products of course always right that come out in these different colors. So Misty Moonlight, you can see kind of a jean tone. In fact, I'm, I'm sort of wearing, well, not really, but I wore a shirt that kind of matched that color. <laughs> We've got um, this, this suite of products called Flowers for Every Season. It's one of the first suites that you'll see in the new catalog, and it's got some fun 
in color images in it with lots of florals. We've also got a designer series paper pack that's six by six, some matching ribbon, yum. And then of course, this is just a larger cardstock sw uh, swatch. Oh, even more stuff, I have to show you this too. So there's these enamel dots that you can get in all the in colors. Ah, so excited. Okay, let's take this color and let's do some comparisons. So I'm gonna pull in um, just maybe some, we'll start with a couple of the current colors. So at this point, I'm definitely gonna try to pay attention to what you say on the screen because um, hopefully you'll be able to um, call out some colors that I may not have thought of sharing. But here's Seaside Spray. Look at that. So it's, it's a good combination. It's obviously not the same color, but a great combination that you can use side by side. Um, Seaside Spray does go, <laughs> got some dust on there, does go with Night of Navy really well. And when you look at these two together, not quite the same, but you can see that you could possibly use them together. Um, this is a, more of a, a grayish hue. Um, so that Seaside Spray kind of, kind of works with either one of these really well. So these two, Seaside Spray and Night of Navy are current, um, current colors. And then this is the new in color for 2020-22. <laughs> it's hard to say the years nowadays, isn't it? Um, so Misty Moonlight. Okay, and if we compare that with something like Midnight Muse, so this is Midnight Muse. This is a color a while ago. Um, you can see that those two uh, are not quite the same. This is definitely more of a, um, a greener blue, um, deeper in color. Um, let's bring in Not Quite Navy. Not Quite Navy is even greener, <laughs> um, but kind of on the same tone as far as light and dark, right? But definitely more on the greener side. And then we have Brocade Blue, which totally would have been a great pair with this, but Brocade Blue is long gone. I miss it, it's a nice blue. Buckaroo blue, that would have been pretty cool with it. It's a grayer blue, kind of like Misty Moonlight, a lighter tone. So, okay, so now I'm gonna look. I'm gonna see if any of you are calling out some colors for me to compare. Um, I do have a few more that are sitting here and I'll just show you those quickly. There's Pat, hi Pat. <laughs> All right, Dapper Denim, um, kind of on the same you know, intensity of color, but Dapper Denim is a, a um, I would say it's more greenish too. It's got a, um, a definitely more of a blue, um, uh, a greenish blue, like an aqua t um, overtone to it. Um, but that's dapper denim. Misty Moonlight's definitely more on the grayer side. Here's Pacific Point, not close at all. <laughs> Call out some colors, you guys, let me know. That's why we're doing the live. Here's Ballet Blue, whoa, <laughs> right? Dapper denim, awesome. I'm seeing some colors called out. And then this is uh, Balmy Blue. Balmy Blue is uh, one of our current colors. Sorry, I forgot to bring this one out initially. Balmy Blue. And then here is Marina Mist. So I hope that those helped. Blueberry um, Bushel. Uh, let me grab that one. See, look at this. I've got this huge stack here, you guys. Blueberry Bushel. Let's pull that one out. Um, blueberry bushel. There we go. Thanks for calling that out. Who was that? Diana. Thank you, Diana. Um, peeking to see if there's any other colors. Bordering in blue. Did I bring that one out yet? I did not. Let's grab that one. A lot of these I did not bring out because I thought, eh, they're not close. Bordering blue is super gray. Let's see if I can, I don't know if I can even, oh, here it is. Bordering blue. This one is so grayish. So there's bordering blue. <laughs> All right, any others? I think we're good. Okay, so I hope that helped. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set that color aside. And I'll have photos of these, by the way, on my blog. I'm hoping to get photos taken right after this with the closest comparisons and the current colors, and then I will share them on my blog tomorrow so that you don't have to wait too long, okay? Cinnamon cider, cinnamon cider. Oh, both of those foods sound great, don't they? I'm a cinnamon fan, I love cinnamon. I put it on my um, sweet potatoes, just heat them up in the microwave and don't put any butter on, just put cinnamon on and it's tasty, 
tasty stuff. Okay, so this is more of that six by six designer paper. And this is another swatch from our Memories and More card pack that has all the in colors in it from Flowers for Every Season and some of that ribbon and of course the cardstock color. So, oops, let's set that one there. So let's bring in Cinnamon Cider now and some of the colors that I thought were close. Actually, let's do the current colors first. We got Crumb Cake, Really Rust, Soft Suede. Okay, so these are some colors that we have that are um, current, current colors. And um, I love it. You guys are all chatting with each other too. This is fun. <laughs> Um, so Soft Suede is um, one that you might think would be pretty close, but Soft Suede is a greener type of brown. Um, cinnamon Cider is more of an orangey, uh, warmer type of brown. So then you think, okay, really rust. Actually, those two look good together, <clears throat> but they're not, of course, exactly the same or uh, whatever. Um, this one's definitely got more of the brown tone in it, but um, really rust is, it's got some rust in it, doesn't it? And then we've got crumb cake. So crumb, crumb cake and soft suede are two of our neutrals that you typically go for when you're gonna do something like a graham cracker <laughs> or whatever. But I'm gonna bring, I think I'm gonna use cinnamon cider. I'm, I have this um, some more idea in mind and I definitely wanna do cinnamon cider for that. So um, I know it might be a little too orangey, but I don't care, it's yummy. All right, some colors from before. So call them out, okay? Yes, you've got, okay, and we're, we've got a delay going on. So um, I'm seeing your comments after I have already um, shared some things. So, oh, Cajun Craze. Cajun Craze, really rust. Oh, <laughs> now I'm catching what you guys are saying. Really rust, question mark, you're right. That is not a current color. What is wrong with me? See, this is what happens when um, I'm just trying to juggle too much at once. The new catalog coming out, I'm crazy getting ready for it, getting all my mailings done. Really, rust is not current. It's an old color. This is Cajun Craze. <laughs> Cajun Craze is the current rusty color. This is an old one. Sorry. If you have it, you can use it. But Cajun Craze is definitely not um, that close. Sorry about that. Um, more on the redder side of the oranges. Okay, that's the current one. So now you saw really rust with it. Here's Dusty Durango. Keep asking. Okay, so if I um, if I don't share one, let me know. <laughs> Ooh, terracotta tile. Okay, let me pull that in. Terracotta tile and someone else said early espresso. Okay, so here's cinnamon cider and Dusty Durango. Dusty Durango is definitely more on the brighter orange side. Um, okay, let's try Close to Coco. That's an older one. That one was a nice one to use for edibles. <laughs> That's um, more on the cooler sides of browns. This is warmer. We have Creamy Caramel. Oh, Creamy Caramel was awesome for some wars, wasn't it? Those two look great together. If you still have some Creamy Caramel, then definitely, um, you know, pull that out. I did see someone just say Baked Brown Sugar. Here is Baked Brown Sugar. More on the greener side, right? Got some green tones to it. And then Tip Top Taupe, I don't know if you remember that one, but that's definitely a grayer brown. Okay, let me grab um, somebody said, what did, what did you call out? I think somebody said Early Espresso. So there's Early Espresso. Ooh, I like those together. Well, Early Espresso is kind of like a black, you know, basic black or whisper white. It's one of those colors that I like to pair up with pretty much anything. So there's that. Um, the other one, what was that one that somebody called out? Shoot. Um, here's chocolate chip, by the way. Chocolate chip is redder. Shoot. Cajun, um, did I do Cajun Craze? I did do Cajun Craze. Any others that you guys are thinking of? Um, let me, I swear there was another one that I forgot. Terracotta Tile, was that it? Okay, that definitely was a redder one. That was the one I think somebody mentioned, terracotta tile. And I did not bring out chocolate chip yet, did I? Okay, let me grab that one. So, and there's Tangelo Twist, way more orangey. Here's Tangerine Tango. You guys are calling out orange ones, right? So, um, cause there is orange in it, but okay. And then the other one was, co uh, where's the browns? Here they are. I have them in order here. 
Did I do it already? Did I? I did. Chocolate chip. Was that the one? I hope I didn't miss any. Chocolate chip. Okay. Great, great, great. All right. Awesome. Did I do this one? Tip top taupe? I think I did. Okay. So nothing really close to that one either, right? All right. Any others? Okay. Great, great, great. Super. Awesome. <laughs> you know what I just got reminded of? Um, we have this uh, Santa Claus that is at the Mall of America, and um, he always says words in threes. And when I just said, great, 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 that made me laugh and giggle because it made me think of him. All right, here is uh, Bumblebee. Bumblebee is a fun yellow that is definitely great for sunflowers. Here are, um, here's the ribbon color for it. This, again, comes from the... Um, uh, flowers for every season memories and more card pack. This also comes from it um, I just wanted to give you another swatch of how those colors look on pattern paper. And so here is bumblebee everyone Okay, so we are doing bumblebee <laughs> I'm seeing some colors um, Yeah, it's goldish definitely goldish. I mean if you're gonna do a gold, this is a great one um, a bright gold There is another color that I love to do with golds. So let me see if I can pull in that one. They are close. So I would say out of the um, colors that we have that are current, you're gonna find that Crush Curry and Bumblebee, let me grab these other ones here too. Crush Curry and Bumblebee are definitely um, kind of like twins to each other, but I'm gonna hold them up really close to each other closer to the camera and you'll be able to see when I angle it a little bit that this one is more on the bright side and this one's more on the dusty side. Hopefully you can see that in the camera. There is a slight difference. They're close though, aren't they? <laughs> Crush Curry is in our Regals colors and um, Bumblebee of course is a new in color. Look at that. When I put them that way, you can kind of see the difference with the shadows in there maybe. This one's definitely a little dustier looking. Okay, but great for golds if you're looking to do a gold color. Other current colors, we have our, um, oops, let's grab that one out of the way. Mango Melody. Mango Melody's orangier. That's in the brights. We have So Saffron, which would be kind of good with this as far as like, um, you know, comp they comp kind of complement each other, a lighter tone of the other. Uh, we have Daffodil Delight, which is more on the bright side. Kind of fun though, right? All right, so now I'm seeing some colors called out. More Mustard. Here we go. More Mustard. That's more Mustard. Um, browner. Browner, orangier, right? All right, what's another one? Hello Honey. I love this. You guys are ahead of me now. <laughs> Hello Honey was kind of close. I was going to bring that one out right away too. Hello Honey, Crushed Curry, Bumblebee. Crazy, right? They just vary them ever so slightly. When I kind of angle them like that, that sort of helps, I think. Um, when I take photos of these, I'm gonna try to get some really good lighting, maybe with some natural sun that's diffused or whatever, but we'll see. Anyways, Hello Honey, that's really close. Um, you know, if I was gonna compare, I would say that this one's yellower and this one's redder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It has kind of a greenish tone, actually, this honey one. Okay, what else do we have? Um, I'm seeing some other colors yelled out. Barely Banana. Oh, Barely Banana. And, you know, I don't know if I even have a true Barely Banana. It, I mean, it's Barely Banana, but it's super white compared to some of the other yellows. It's, it's so pale. So there's that one. Um, I'm going to start bringing some in that you may not have called out yet. Here's Delightful Dijon which would go great if Delightful Dijon was still current. It is not, right? It's not. <laughs> There's been so many colors over the years, I just don't know. Um, here's Summer Sun. Summer Sun was so bright. Loved this one. Definitely sunshiny, right? Yummy. Here's Marigold Morning. Some of these I bet you haven't even thought of, right? Ooh, Summer Starfruit. I've got that one sitting here too. There's Marigold Morning, Orangier, Pinker. It's got kind of a pink tone. 
And here's summer star fruit, which is, you know, we always knew that was a green or yellow, kind of a, a limey yellow, right? And then yo-yo yellow, here's yo-yo, one of our, one of our like original yellows. Um, gosh, this one goes way back when we had, when the brights were like rainbow brights, right? Do you remember those? Only orange, yo-yo yellow. I don't remember all of them. <laughs> They're in my stash here. There's pineapple punch. Okay, that one's an outgoing color. Gonna miss that one. That one was so pretty. All right, any others before I move on? I'm, again, peeking down at my, my comments here that are super, super tiny. Um, yes, I, isn't this fun? It's like we can reminisce. We can reminisce about all these colors. Okay, and I won't photograph um, these in colors with every single one of these. The video is actually definitely going to be the most helpful because I can angle them and turn them. But, um, but I'll photograph the ones that are closest. Okay. Here's my favorite, <laughs> just jade, just jade. Oh yes, I love greens. This is a very nice um, bluish green um, on the light side. It's relaxing to look at. Here's some of that designer paper, the six by six. Here's a piece of designer paper-ish piece from the Memories and More from Flowers for Every Season. Um, all right, we're gonna set that aside and bring in just jade with the color comparisons. Um, current colors, okay, I'm gonna bring those out first. So let's see, I'm gonna make sure I have all of them. Shaded spruce, there's quite a few greens. Mint macaron, and then I've got some of these other ones. Oh gosh, that one's really old. That one, is that one leaving? That one's leaving, isn't it? Is that one leaving? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I think I've got the current ones sitting out. All right, so Just Jade. Just Jade is kind of cool with the shaded spruce. I'm gonna highly recommend those two colors together, okay? Those are so, so pretty together. It's like this is a darker version of that one. Even though this is not as bluish, it's, it's got enough in there where they, they work together. Now here is definitely, these are two colors that are on the aqua bluish side. But, and you can see that these two kind of clash. They're the same intensity or almost the same intensity. Um, like if I were to take, and when I say that, I mean, and you know, I'm not a color expert, but if we were to take and make this a black and white video, these two would probably look exactly the same. <laughs> That's what I meant by that. And then we've got Coastal Cabana and Just Jade. Now those two I could see working together too. Definitely more of a bluer color, but um, I, I do like that. Here is Mint Macaron, which, is kind of a, a yellower or a, 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 I don't know, it's it's definitely a yellower color than I expected it to be. Now in the video here that we're doing, this live, um, at least in my camera, it's hard to see that they are um, not as close, but I don't know, I, I guess I, would, I could use them together, I just think that they're not exactly the same. Like I don't feel like this is a lighter shade. I feel like this one's a lighter shade more, well not really. Anyways, just stamp off and you'll get a lighter shade. <laughs> Here's Pretty Peacock. That one is leaving, correct? No, it's not. It's stain. <laughs> There's too many colors. Pretty Peacock is stain. This one I love. Um, I think this one is used a lot with, what's the one color that I'm thinking of? Or is that one leaving? Oh, gosh. I don't know, maybe you guys will remind me, but um, Pretty Peacock goes well with, um, ah, I can't think of it. Oh, oh, I know, I know. Um, I'm gonna find it in here. I'm gonna find it. It's not that one. Maybe it is that one. <laughs> Talk about being prepared. Maybe it is mint. Maybe these are the two that I use quite often together which doesn't look right on the cardstock, but those are the ones. Here's Soft Sea Foam. That's a current one too, but definitely yellower. This is a blue or green um, kind of thing. Okay, so now we're gonna go into some colors that are older. So, oh, Pool Party. That's it, that's it. it so thank you so much, Lori. <laughs> I got your comment. Pool Party, let me grab that one. So that's the one um, here. Yes, yes, yes. 
See, that's why we're doing this live. Do I have that with the blues? I have that with my blues. I'm gonna grab it, because I wanna show you. It's crazy how, you know, you think that a certain color is in a certain category. Oh, it's in here. <laughs> are you enjoying this? Waiting for me to pull out the next color. Pool party, where are you? Here it is. Oh, and that looks kind of good with that. But Pool Party and Pretty Peacock are the ones that I use together. Thank you, Lori. Thank you so much. Okay, so there's Pool Party. Definitely on the, you know, blue side of the greens. But, okay, let's pull in some older colors. Last Lagoon. Those two, again, I would say kind of the same intensity of color. Um, but this is a, a more on the gray side. This is more on the bright cheerful has a little more yellow to it in the green okay here's tranquil tide which totally would have been great together had we kept that around um tranquil tide i missed that one that one's gone right <laughs> i think oh you guys i need someone here to read the comments to make sure i'm corrected okay emerald envy this is um, a greener green. Doesn't have as much blue tones to it uh, as this one does, but I could see those being used together too. All right, what else are we calling out? Um, I'm seeing some colors. Seaside Spray, someone wants to see Seaside Spray with that. All right, Seaside Spray, there you go. Um, yeah. Not, clo not close. Seaside Spray is really purplish, isn't it? It's got some purple tones. Um, okay, so here is Blue by You. Mm, nah. <laughs> here is Mint Melody. Oh, I miss Mint Melody. Those two would have been great together. <laughs> here is Island Indigo. I mean, we're kind of crossing into the blues and the greens, aren't we? So there's Island Indigo. Here is Taken with Teal, and here is Baja Breeze. All right, so other colors. Someone said Balmy Blue. Here's Balmy Blue. Not real close to each other, but I would not like count them as, I mean, they, they look good together on a card. So um, what's another one? Old Olive, you want me to bring in Old Olive, huh, Nancy? Okay, let me find that one. And Ballet Blue, but here's Ballet Blue while I'm grabbing Old Olive. Old Olive. That one's um, gonna, be, gonna be yellower. There's Old Olive for you. Call Me Clover, you guys are pulling in all the greens now, huh? <laughs> Call Me Clover is... Um, Okay, so here, I'll just, I'm gonna open this up to some greens. Here is Call Me Clover. Oh, Call Me Clover isn't too far off, is it? Thank you for mentioning that one. That was Kathy, thank you, Kathy. Garden Green, someone wants me to do Garden Green, okay. So Call Me Clover, I would say this one's bluer, this one's yellower as far as the greens go. Um, what was the other one, Garden Green? I think that was what was called. Should have these all sit down on my table. Garden green is kind of like old olive in that it's you know definitely more on the yellower sides of greens. Okay, what else do we have? Anybody else? Okay, yay. All right, that was a huge one. <laughs> we had lots of comparisons on that one. That was fun. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tidy that up and bring in the last color of our of our stash. This is Magenta Madness. So Magenta Madness, if you were to look at it all together with lots of other products, here's Magenta Madness. Now, it's probably the brightest, um, most edible. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the one that makes you think of food the most I think because it's so sweet and so cheerful and, and yummy looking so here's um, another card from our memories and more card pack uh, from the flowers for every season 
Here's the six by six designer paper sampler and then the ribbon. And Magenta Madness. Now, this was crazy to me. I'm gonna show you this one first, okay? So Magenta Madness, um, I thought of right away for Marvelous Magenta because we had a color with the word magenta in it before. But Marvelous Magenta is so purple compared. Look at that, right? Those don't look close at all. This is definitely a blue purplish pink. I mean, when you look at it by itself, you go, oh, Marvelous Magenta. But this one seems more magenta to me. Um, okay, some current colors. Somebody asked me to do pear pizzazz with the last one. Who was that? Nancy. Okay, let me see if I can find that really quick. Pear pizzazz. I'm in my green still. I have them opened up. Here's pear pizzazz with just jade. Okay, hope that helped. All right, so um, current colors, if I can remember. <laughs> Here's Melon Mambo. Um, that one's leaving us. Gosh, 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 there's a ton of pinks. Um, flirty Flamingo. What's the current coral? <laughs> Calypso coral, right? Cameo coral was an old one. Let me look. Uh, Calypso, okay, yeah. So I've got cameo coral here, but Calypso coral is way too orange. Alrighty, here we go. So this, these are current colors. This one's leaving, um, lovely lipstick. I just thought I'd bring it out so you can see, um, but still a great lipstick color, <laughs> right? Here's Flirty Flamingo, um, orangier. Magenta is definitely more intense pink, right? All right, here's Melon Mambo. I would say this is more of a bluish pink and this is more of a reddish pink. If you wanna, I don't know. Yeah, I hope that helps. <laughs> I, I wouldn't pair these up. I wouldn't, I don't know. They, they're they not kind of, they're not a lighter or darker shade of each other. Um, okay, so here we go. Let's grab some of these. Um, let's start with Regal Rose, why not? There's Regal Rose. This is positive, oh here, this one I thought was really close. That one I thought was super close. You can tell on the screen actually better than in person that these two are not the same. This one's deeper. This one's, you know, a, a lighter shade, but Pink Passion, if you've got that cardstock sitting around, you can still play, or ink pad, you can play around with those together. Um, you wouldn't really need to because they're so close. <laughs> um, another one that, let's see, I thought there was, here. Pixie Pink. Pixie Pink is a nice lighter version of the Magenta Madness. Those two are great as far as card stocks. You know, if you're going to do layers. Uh, uh, yeah, Pixie Pink, I missed that one. That was such a nice pink. Okay, so here's Positively Pink, a little bit orangier. Here is Rose Romance. So, um, yeah, more orangier too. Kind of brown undertones even. Uh, so there's Rose Romance. Um, here is Purely Pomegranate. Real dark color, but wanted to bring that out just in case. Strawberry Slush, kind of the same intensity, but Strawberry Slush is, um, is warmer. Magenta Madness is, is a cooler color. Yep, someone, Kay, you and I were thinking the same thing just at the same time. I saw your comment come up. Berry Burst, ooh, these would be great together. Can you see this? Let's, this would be great. Let's just go. Wow. Pixie Pink and Berry Burst and Magenta Madness. Oh, now I need my old colors back. <laughs> and there's, because I only have a swatch of each of these now. When th something gets retired as a demonstrator, I, I, it's gone. Yeah. Rose Red. But you hobbyists out there that, uh, you know, collect it all and you fill up your craft rooms more than me. Enjoy, enjoy these color comparisons because you have colors that you can use. There is Pretty in Pink. Now again, Pixie Pink, I would say that would be better for a lighter shade of Magenta Madness. Pretty in Pink is um, a warmer. Uh, here's that Pixie again. Pretty in Pink is um, a warmer pink, okay? All right, and here's 
Cameo Coral. Definitely orangier, right? Watermelon Wonder. Okay, I'm starting to see some, some uh, Rococo Rose. Okay, I'll pull that one out. Pale Pink Blushing Bride. Hmm. Here's Rich Razzleberry. Yum. Oh, this one's current. <laughs> Those look good, don't they? Okay, so I hear, I'm hear i hearing some colors. Rococo Rose. Rococo Rose. Oh. Here's Rococo. Okay. Kind of browner, right? What was another one? Blushing Bride. Pale, pale Pink. Do I have Pale Pink? Here's Blushing Bride. And did I use pale pink with the yellows? I don't think so. Powder pink, pink pirouette. We'll just pull those out since we're calling out some light pinks. So there's those. Um, primrose petals. Did I bring that one out? I don't think so. Which the, what's the one I'm looking for? Pale pink? Pale pink. Petal pink. Is that the one you're thinking of? I don't know. <laughs> I'm peeking. I'm peeking at more color recommendations here. I want to make sure that we get all the comparisons in the video because I definitely won't be photographing these against every single color. Pink Pirouette I shared. Blackberry Bliss. You want to see that with that? Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know that one's a lot darker, right, Susie? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find Blackberry Bliss in here. Gosh, my colors, where'd they all go? They're all over my table now. Blackberry Bliss. I'm gonna have to, oh, here it is. Here's the rest of them, okay. Um, Blackberry Bliss. There it is. Blackberry Bliss, I have to say, Susie, this one is like, um, like black, um, basic black, whisper white, early espresso. I would say that this one is like a neutral to me too. Like I could use this as, and Night of Navy falls into that category. So it's a dark color that just has an, uh, a hint of hue in it, and, but yet it can be used as that dark, um, you know, like the dark sentiment ink color. You know what I mean? Um, so what is it? Blushing Bride, Blush Blossom. Blushing Bride and Blush Blossom. Okay, see this is why I just chat and chat and chat because I know you guys are going to come up with more that you want me to do. Here's Blush Blossom. And I thought I did Blushing Bride. Didn't I do that one already? Mm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm looking. I'm looking. And Melon Mambo, that was one that I did at the beginning, I believe. Here's Melon Mambo. Hmm. I should have these all sitting. That's what I need. I need a helper. <laughs> Where's my helper? He's doing homework right now. I don't know where that one is. Blushing Bride and Blush Blossom. Did I show that one already, everyone? And you want me to show it with Mary Merlot, too, huh? There's Mary Merlot. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> um, yeah, I I don't know where my blush blossom is, but oh, it's right here. It's <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Okay, anything else? Anything else? So I hope that was fun for you guys. I'm gonna bring those in colors back in here and try to tidy up my desk. The craziness of this desk. <laughs> okay. These are, the again, the new in colors that are debuting um, June 3rd in the new annual catalog, the 2020-21 annual catalog. Um, contact your demonstrator for more information. If you do not have a demonstrator, I welcome you to contact me. Um, my name again is Rachel Tessman at stampyourartout.com. And you can also shop for products when you're on my website. There's always a shop button. So, and unless there are any other um, comparisons that I need to, I think we're good. 
We did this for 40 minutes. I'm so chatty. Okay, I'm gonna let you all go. Now I'd like you all to go and stamp your art out. <laughs> bye bye.